What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, my Soul Squad? Welcome back to what my channel. Okay, guys, I am about to make what you saw the thumbnail. This amazing strawberry shortcake, but this is the box shortcake. This is not homemade, but I'm gonna show you all the ingredients you need to take your box cake mix to another level you all know it i could do homemade but this is a box cake mix guys and this is a strawberry shortcake and this is for my son michael just because his birthday was what on valentine's day and i make the cake for him every year a strawberry shortcake and i cannot let him down this year so guess what let's go bake soul squad so soul squad these are all the ingredients that you're going to need they take your I forgot the eggs. <laughs> the eggs, I know here, but you know you need eggs or cake. Uh, but these are all the ingredients that you're going to need to take your strawberry showcase to the next level. And I got this upside down. <laughs> but it's strawberry. Yeah, sour cream, vanilla, strawberries, um, butter cake mix. Have and have some butter and some eggs. And let's get this strawberry showcake popping. All right, so squad. Going in with both boxes of cake mix. And I'm using butter. And I really would I really say I prefer the butter cake mix, the butter flavor. And just follow the instructions on the back of your um cake mix. Because we're gonna do everything the same. All that we're doing is adding in some um extra stuff. We're not using water. I'm going in with my six eggs. I'm going to do that. And this is a cake mix, so you don't have to do what you do. When you, I'm putting my butter in first. You don't have to do it the way you do a um, homemade cake, putting the ingredients separate and all that stuff. You go ahead and just dump your stuff in here, y'all. Just dump it in here. My six eggs. I got two boxes of cake mix, right? I'm gonna put this down. We're gonna let that go. Ooh. Going in with a cup of my half and half. I'm going in with two teaspoons. A vanilla. You see me do that? And now I'm pulling it from the back door. And we're going in with a half a cup of sour cream. this so I can lift this up and go over half a cup of sour cream that's it put this back down lock it turn this back on that's it um, guys a cup of half and half Half a cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of vanilla, and we just took this box cake mix totally over the top. This is ready. Let me get my sheet pan that I'll be placing this cake in. All right, so Scar, we bring the pan out. So. This is the size pan I'm using. I got this pan for Walmart about four months ago, and I sprayed it with my pan, y'all. Just keep my cake. And this is a non-stick pan. And though it's non-stick. And I won't be cutting this cake. I don't have a cake thing big enough for this. But this cake will be stained. These are the cakes that you cook and bake. And you cut and it stay in here. Alright, let me get this. And I got preheat your oven at 350. My oven is preheated at 350.
There you go. The time, time it just went off. And in it go. So silky and smooth. I was cake bake cool off. I'll take you guys to the next part of what we're going to do. Uh, put this in the sink. Fill up with water. So I'm gonna step in wash it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Shake the cake out. My oven is ready, and then she go. So guys, this is my Jello, the six point ounces. And with the Jello, you're not gonna make it according to the um. It's hot. You're just gonna use like one cup. Make sure you guys measure it out. You're not gonna make it according to the um the package. You're gonna use one cup of water. That's it, that's all. You're not gonna add the cold water solution or anything because you don't wanna make it thin. So you're just gonna let it die, the hot water, and you're gonna let it just dissolve into this one cup of a mix. Mm. This is strawberry. The cake is out. It is cool. Cause this gonna go inside the cake. See, you want the thickness to it. If you was to like do it with the um directions, you know, add a certain amount of hot water, add a certain amount of cold water, it'll be a little bit too thin for me. I don't want it that thin. So when I make the jello, this is gonna be a jello strawberry cake. It's gonna be a jello strawberry shortcake. And um you can still feel the thickness of the uh, even though it look like you can still feel the thickness of the strawberry solution, the jello solution. All right, let's get some holes in our cake. Once that dissolves, you're ready. Guys, if you have any type of skewers or Wooden spoons with a round tip. You can use that, but I got this right here. I'm just gonna take my knife and not go all the way down. I just had some skewers the other day, and I don't know what it yet. I'm just gonna take my knife and pluck holes in my cake, y'all. For real, it's all gonna be buried under whipped cream. I'm not touching all the way down. Cake came out so pretty, gold and brown. You can use a fork. You can use a knife. If you got the skewers, the wooden spoon, anything you want, just get them holes. I'm doing almost like slits. All the way to the edge. All right. And so, and... Comes my jello. And see how it's coating to the spoon? That's how that's how I know it, it's thick. If it was too thin, it wouldn't be coating. It wouldn't coat that spoon like that. And so this is gonna go in the refrigerator, guys, for about maybe two hours before I even top it with the whipped cream before I even top it with the whipped cream and it's soaked down inside the cake it's going down inside the cake okay so squad it's time for the strawberries once we put the strawberries on here, then we're going to place this in the refrigerator. You see these bags of strawberries I had? What I did is I took like a half a paint of fresh strawberries. And um, because I took the strawberries I had there because I didn't think. I was looking at these strawberries in the bag and I was like, you know what? They're not enough. 
So I took some um, strawberries that I had in the refrigerator and I cut them up and put them inside the bag with the juices and the sugar and let it all marinate together. Yeah. And the juices from the strawberries is gonna go down inside the cake. This is my son making a strawberry cake every year, y'all. And he was like, Mom, you ain't making me a cake? And so it's a mix of frozen strawberries and fresh strawberries. And this is going to go in the refrigerator so that it can settle. And that's it. So that it can settle. Now I want to make sure the juice goes down inside this cake. This is going in the refrigerator. All right, guys. In the refrigerator for about two hours. Strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake jello cake. All right, guys. This is the cake out the refrigerator. It's been there for two hours. It's nice and chilled. And I have my big bucket, a Cool Whip. I buy what's on sale. Or if you into making your own, you can have you some heavy cream and go for it. And you can make your own. So this is like two, two things to cool whip at one. This is my Jello Strawberry Shortcake. A whipped cream topping. You guys can make it this Sunday. What's your favorite fruit cake? You know, like a strawberry shortcake. Um, what kind of fruit cake they got? A blueberry. Lemon cake, and as much um cool what you want, because I guarantee y'all, I'm using all of this. Okay, before I use, I'll just make it sure that all the parts that I want covered are covered, and then the remaining, I'm just gonna slap it in there. Hope you guys like this video. Go check out Amateur Cooking Guy. My son, Michael. My sister, New Life Journey. And of course, me, your girl, Sophie T. On Sophie T Vlogs. So, I use this whole thing. Because you want a lot of cool with. Scrape it to the end, boo. All right, guys, we're going to be back because guess what? She's going to cut it and she's going to plate it. I used the whole thing and it took every bit of it. And that's what I'm talking about. My strawberry, what is it? My Jello strawberry shortcake. All right. Who like corners? I like centers. Let me see. I'm seeing it for the first time with you guys. Look at that. Mm. The strawberry jello cake. So much with cream you can't even see. 
but look at that. All right, guys, everything about everything <laughs> going to be in the description below. Michael's Amateur Cooking Guy, My Sister New Life Journey, Sober Tea Vlogs, and, of course, my new book that just dropped on Amazon, I Was You, From Tragedy to Triumph, all about surviving domestic violence. With that being said, look at this cake. This is my Jello Strawberry Short Cake, guys. We gotta do. We gotta taste this, right? Look at that. Mmm, so moist. Mmm. Mmm. That is so delicious.